Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, it's been a, well, reasonable amount of peacetime. Uh, I've been desperately trying to get radar complete uh, so that I can do <clears throat> the kind of final two designs for the campaign. It's now February 1929, and we are at war with the United States again. Um, it doesn't look like we have any battles in the first month. Uh, so just as we have always done... When we're at war with the United States, I'm just going to put everybody on sea control. Um, the battle cruisers that I designed in the New Blood episode, so that's what, two episodes ago now, are nearly done, two months till they're finished, have they are due an immediate refit. Um, but I might as well wait until the radar is ready, that's six months time. Uh, the Mark three 16 inch guns are nearly ready, the new hulls are ready, which is very exciting. Um, but other than that, I think that is, that is everything, uh, so I can get the kind of last designs done, which means the campaign is probably going to end a little bit earlier than I thought. I'll probably try and maybe go to 1940, but, um, the other thing as well is one dot the 1.10 beta is due, but I don't have any time to record <laughs> on the beta. Because it's coming out at Christmas, which is just the worst time for someone like myself who can only record when their young family is either at school or nursery or otherwise not in the house. Um, and yeah, so there's going to be two weeks where I cannot do any recording, which will be the beta period. Hopefully the beta lasts longer than two weeks. I think the 109 um, beta was too short. Um, I think that they went to, oh yeah, we're going to release this onto the live branch far too quickly. Um, and then the, you know, I, I, I would, I would have thought that 109.3 probably needed a dot four and a dot five, but there we go. Maybe 110 was close enough that they thought, yeah, do you know what? We're just going to move, move on to that because we know we fixed stuff in 110 so we can't fix it in 19 or something like that um th there's plenty of things that that could have been um uh, so please don't expect to see any 1.10 campaigns or content um anytime soon no i'm not paying you money uh germany's at war with the united states as well not that they're any good at being at war with the united states just let Ships kind of sail right, th right through here. <laughs> um, anyway, we just kind of waiting around. How many ships do they have? The Americans, a battleship, a battle cruiser, and a bunch of small stuff. Okay, and they're very heavily committed. So there's probably not going to be very much. So um, yeah, it's just going to be me waffling for a little bit. Um, the other thing with so yeah, hopefully 110 will last in beta in more than a couple of weeks so that I can, you know, start producing some content about it. Um, but obviously once it goes live, that'll be this campaign save won't work. So, <laughs> or at least I assume so. No, I'm not paying you. If you want to ally, fine, but I'm not paying you. Um... What do we have here? The Admiral Makarov has come across the Fall River. Interesting matchup. Uh, they're fairly evenly matched. Similar speeds, similar armor, similar guns, similar displacement, similar cost. In fact, the American one's slightly more expensive. Yeah, interesting. Uh, the other thing is, I also have my ships for the Division 1 of the Battleship League pretty much done. Uh, Drake and I just need to make the American contenders, uh, which we're going to try and do in one go. Um, and then I need to do the battles. Um, 
and I'd like to get all that done before 1.10 goes onto the live branch and wipes all of the design saves. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... Uh... I know I'm not the typical user, but it's come a little bit too soon for me. 1.10, but it's just one of those things. So if you're worried, oh, Brother Monroe isn't, hasn't jumped into the beta, no, I, I won't be, um, and that's entirely due to, I mean, when it's being released. However, um, experience on the previous betas has shown that there's often a save reset, which is very annoying if you're trying to record a campaign. Um, so, and there's usually quite a lot of bugs in the first version, so... Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, this should bring us pretty close. They fired their starboard torpedoes. I can get torpedoes off of my own. Go to normal. It's pretty close. Fuck. <laughs> that is just typical shite, isn't it? take a couple but they don't do very much absolutely typical how the AI is so good at that and fucking you over with. <laughs> it's just unreal um, there was a uh, an update to what the 110 blog post that uh, revealed more of um, the bug fix list um, I have to say, it was a lot shorter than I was hoping. Um, now, maybe that's because a lot of the systems that were causing trouble have been reworked in 110. Um, that cause problems for people that I personally don't have an, an issue with because I just avoid them by not using task forces or submarines. Um, <laughs> it's all the bugs to do with submarines and all that stuff. And I don't use task forces, so I don't run into bugs with the fuel system or anything like that. Um, but, you know, there was a lot of focus on those. There was nothing at all about looking at the penetration system. Which is probably my biggest gripe with the game at present. Um, oh, the full river six. Excellent. Um, and... You know, it could be under various fixes, which uh, the day's infuriating don't actually, you know, list. It's like, oh, we've made imp the, the classic one that Stealth complained about a lot. We've made improvements to the AI. Um, okay. Sure. <laughs> we've made improvements to the division system. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, and again, you know, we've made various fixes to hulls. Well... Have you fixed resistance stacking? Um, you know, various fixes to parts. Have you fixed how big guns are useless? Like, <laughs> what, what have you done? Um, and I know not everybody wants to read, um, oh, you know, we adjusted this value by this much, or this value by this much. Um, put it in a separate post. Like, I, I would absolutely read that. Um, and be very interested to find out what uh, what had been changed and what had been done. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on 1.10. Um, I hope it's I hope it's a good one. I hope uh, you know all the new campaign features are are kind of working and. There aren't any huge problems. Now, one of the things that was uh, brought up about the Project 23 1012s is that I did use a lot of newer tech. And we can see that, yeah, two of the three do have flaws. But this that's pretty minor, just a little bit heavy. And this one 
has a few more things wrong with it, but they're all relatively minor, mostly to do with ship repair, which doesn't come up that much, and hopefully with a couple of refits. And these are going to be refitted immediately as well, well, once they finish commissioning, and once I have radar, so in three months, they're going to get refitted. So shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, Soviet manufacturing is much, much better uh, now than it used to be. So, um, yeah, floor's really not as much of an issue. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to cut the video here so you don't have to put up with just watching the end turn. And I'll be back when I'm doing those refits and doing some builds. Well, I was going to show you all that. <laughs> but uh, we've intercepted a American task force making their way down towards Suez, presumably, or coming up through Suez. I don't know how, because they're at war with the British, so quite how this task force got here, I have no idea. Anyway, the uh, incompetence of our allies aside, the Svetlovsk has found another group of cruisers. Now, the last time I did one of these fights, oh, I almost lost the will to live, so... <laughs> Forgive me... For this, because we don't have radar on our ships yet, this is going to be an absolute pain in the fecking backside. Uh, so I'm actually going to get these two ships to form up. I'm just going to get the destroyers to go away. Actually, no, I'm not going to get them to go away. They're going to be too useful as distractions. So their job is to distract and the heavier ships to do the shooting. You're going the wrong way. And this could very well be a ghost battle. So my intention is not to attack with the destroyers at all, but to uh, just kind of distract and annoy with them. Try and get the uh, enemy to fire torpedoes at them. Run away, repeat and uh, spot for the bigger ships. Oh, that one's damaged. How interesting. Okay, so they didn't, they didn't get here um, unmolested. Now, that was a big hit as well, right through the main deck. Whatever ship that was is sunk. And here come the torpedoes. Which is fine. with the Grumki. See if we can harass them with the the Rasto here. <laughs> oh, a torpedo hit. Is that one of mine? Or one of theirs? That's one of mine. Grumpy, you actually hit with a torpedo. A range, wow. You get a medal for that. Two torpedoes. Damn. Singing the San Juan. Very nice. By the way, if I sound a bit stuffed up, it's because I am. I am very ill. <laughs> because it is plague season, and my delightful children uh, slash nerglings have uh, brought all sorts of horrible diseases into the house. 
and I have long COVID, so I feel absolutely shite. Um, because the combination is pretty special. So yeah, I if I sound a bit rough, I am. But my commitment to making videos is very strong. <laughs> need to make content. Need to keep the channel going. If you want to support the channel, then you well, you already are by watching the video to this point. But uh, there are other ways to support. You can join the Discord, which is free. Um, and uh, gives you a chance to pitch in in uh, kind of viewer campaigns like this. Um, gives you just what videos I should cover and things like that. And I am pretty active on there if you just want to chat and stuff. Um, you can also, if you are interested in supporting the channel more monetarily, I have a Kofi link. Uh, for donations, and I have a Patreon as well. So I don't mention or do a good enough job of promoting those at all, but uh, I do have them. It does help a lot. That's what uh, is enabling me to get a new machine. I am actually recording on my new machine. I just don't have a new graphics card yet, and that is entirely through the generosity of... Uh, you lot, um, so it's hugely appreciated. Um, so you should see more games, different games, um, better content because it's once I get the graphics card anyway. Um, Dreadnoughts doesn't well, actually, yeah, I'm basically GPU limited on Dreadnoughts now. Um, see, look, there's just a little gaggle of shits hiding out. With all their little torpedoes. Quincy. Hopefully, uh, Sverdlosk can uh, mop up these cruisers. That's on the Pasadena, would you? Kill those light cruisers before they accelerate up to speed. Quincy is dead anyway. Lovely hit. Hmm. Apparently there's something out there. I missed. See if we can find it. It would be useful to uh, get rid of any enemies. But given the United States has mostly cruisers, this is going to hurt them quite a lot. Uh, one other thing about 110. Um, I don't know if the devs are going to introduce Steam Workshop support. I did ask them, um, and I got a kind of maybe. <laughs> you know, it's something we'd like to do, but the, you know, there's no immediate plans, kind of thing. Um, so in terms of player shared ships, one thing I will try and do once one ten is on the live branch, at any rate is uh, I'm going to investigate trying to get Nexus mods to 
uh, host uh, ships. Um, it's probably going to be the easiest way to handle that. Um, and I'm also planning on getting all of the historical builds I did with Jokinifal uploaded as well. So if you want to play a 1940s campaign with historical ships, you will be able to do that. Um, if you have an idea for what you would like to see um, in terms of ships, ship packs or something like that, do let me know uh, down in the comments. I'm, I'm interested. I do have a few ideas of my own, of course. Um, and I'll probably try and get quite a lot of ships put up, but yeah, always happy to know. I'm just going to end the battle because, yeah, it's a destroyer. It's more than fast enough to get away. Um, still, though, uh, a destroyer, three light cruisers and four heavy cruisers for no losses at all is very nice indeed. Sverdlosk doing most of the damage, followed by the heavy cruiser. Hardly surprising. But the two destroyers, and these are the, remember, the 80 mil armed destroyers getting a torpedo hit each. Wow. Okay, medals for both. Because that's impressive. Okay. Well, the United States Navy is going to be uh, a little bit sad after that, but that's kind of their problem. Uh, <laughs> um, right, how's the research going? Two months. Right, I'll see what happens, and uh, I will be back in a moment. Welcome back. You're going to have to wait till the next episode for um, the building action. Uh, the Grom Gromki has found the Norris, which was, I think, the destroyer that we failed to sink in the last video. So it would be good if we could finish her off. Gromki's got a little bit of damage. But it would be nice if we could finish the job and sink the this uh, US fleet that thinks it's allowed in the Mediterranean. Now, I do have one issue with the refits, uh, which is partly why this class of destroyer exists. And that is the older destroyers with the, was it 120 millimeter guns? When I refit them, it's gonna go to the Mark IV or Mark V gun, and those have a different housing, and that housing is monstrously heavy. So heavy that it's basically impossible to build the destroyers. So um, I will try and see if I can get a refit in, but uh, probably not um, for those ships. I will keep them around because you know, they're perfectly good ships still, um, but they may well be relegated to second line duties and might have to build an entirely new destroyer with that kind of heavier armament to replace them um, or to supplement their duties. Oh no, it's a ghost battle. Disappointing. Disappointing that it's a ghost battle. Maybe you will get the building. <laughs> um, or at least the refit. I'd like to do the refit. Right. Back once the turn has ended. Welcome back. I have the Radar Range Fighter 1. Huzzah! Um, that means we can get some ships refitted. So, priority number one are those new uh, 23102s because um, a few of the systems that I wanted for those ships um, weren't ready when I was doing them. So, let's go to the ship design screen. Uh, the 23102012s view and refit so that'll move the guns up and this was part of the problem I had when I was designing this is why I used the slightly larger barbettes because I knew that these guns would be bigger <laughs> and I thought I'd accounted for it but apparently not so there's going to have to be a little bit of noodling Unfortunately, I think it's going to make everything a bit heavier as well. Yeah, 4% overweight, just swapping to the new 
new guns. This is part of the problem um, with doing this sort of thing after the fact. So get the Gen 1 radar in and we can take <clears throat> the RDF off. Uh, and then it's looking for other ways to save weight because I already did quite a lot of weight saving on this on this ship. Um, so I have been told I am allowed to use oil these days um, because we have taken Alaska, uh, but I'm not sure it's going to... Oh, it does save me a little bit. And it does up, up, my, up my engine efficiency. So we'll use some oil. That will help. Um, actually, could I swap from forced down to balanced? I could. See, that saves me a little bit of weight too. 2%. It'd be just uh, All I need to do is just to bring the citadel in just a teeny tiny bit. And I reckon I'll be able to... But it's like, it's just being... These turrets are so fat. So enormously huge. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to get any better than that. Mind you, there is this little gap here. Maybe I can... Uh, maybe I can shift this a little closer. Give me a forward weight offset. Obviously, in the actual refit process, you wouldn't be doing this. Like, moving bits of superstructure around. Oh, god damn. Sometimes the game is really, an really annoying with this shape. Oh, I don't want to have to take it off. I'm going to have to. funnel that fitted on here. <sighs> Forward weight offset of 0.5. But really what I was doing this for was to move that back. It's like when you want to move just everything back one one tiny little space. It is a little irritating. Right. I did not get anything back. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, that actually makes it worse, doesn't it? Yeah. Just because these are very, very heavily armoured, but that was a requirement. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else I can fiddle with. Oh yeah, the, the length. These are now 67s. I don't think they should be that long. <laughs> the rate of fire is bad. Let's go for the default length. What? No, they are not. Yeah, 59. Let's make them 60s. Uh, 1.3 rounds a minute. That's fine. And now we'll be underweight. There we go. Okay. Blink and you miss it. Refit. Some guns have poor sector of fire, I think. I think they're all fine, actually. Yeah, they're all fine. 
Okay, there we go. A little bit of a little bit of a refit, but hopefully addressed some of the issues with the ship. Um, range is a little bit better. Um, has better guns, uh, longer guns as well. Yeah. All right. So we'll save that. And I will begin the refit process. Now, obviously we're at war, so I don't want to go crazy with refits. So I'm going to spread them out a bit. Um, obviously these ships are new, so it's not as much of an issue. Um, maybe do all of our battle cruisers at once. So let's have a look at the 23108s. Probably be a more significant refit. Yeah, everything's going red. Uh, yeah, that barbet no longer big enough. Take those off. Let's make these the same sixty millimeter gun uh 60 caliber 310 millimeter guns now is it a standard barbet that these things need they need a pretty big one otherwise they will just look completely off even even with a standard barbet they don't look quite right but yeah we can do that uh we could then use oil and better improve their engine type. We could potentially upgrade their armor, but I'll leave that as is. It seems unnecessary. We can get them onto the Cordite 3. We can give them the new Electro Hydro turrets. Uh, we can get them a radar. Oh, they can actually keep their RDF. That's nice. Quinn's 5 Rangefinder. And we actually have a bit of spare displacement. Nice. Uh, probably need to look at the armor on the guns. No, that's fine. Can we lengthen the 80mm guns a bit more? Yes, we can. New barrels. <laughs> and there we go. Pretty, pretty good if you ask me. Pretty nice little, uh, little upgrade. It's very weird seeing those turrets with kind of dreadnought era tower and hull but I kind of like it we'll save that and it's like you can't build these it's obsolete yeah not really still perfectly good hull in my opinion and let's get those refitted as well perfect so that'll be our battle cruiser force um fully refitted next month. Uh, next episode, what I will do is I will do the... Actually, yeah, I'll do the battleship. And then we'll do the, the heavy cruise and then the light cruise and then the destroyer. So that we're kind of doing a rolling a rolling refit cycle because, yeah, we, we are in a war. So not always the best plan to refit everything at once. Um, because you'll have nothing, nothing in service, and that's that's bad. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next one, uh, where I will also be building a brand new battleship and true battle cruiser. Anyway, see you then. Bye for now.